Welcome back. I am making a uh, screw on arbor for this uh, chuck, a uh, flea market find, and it is supposed to fit the slave. In the uh, previous video, I uh, stopped when it all seemed to go uh, sideways with the uh, thread cutting operation, but after uh, rotating the insert, the uh, new tip didn't seem to line up with the uh, thread anymore, and it uh, started digging in. So I uh, repositioned the tool bit and took a few dozen light cuts and uh, got things uh, lined up again. But uh, in the end the uh, tip didn't survive. At some point I uh, tried fitting this uh, 8 uh, TPI uh, tab but uh, it wouldn't go in. Tried to push it through and uh, damaged uh, basically the start of the thread and then I had to take a few more light cuts to uh, clean things up again. Um, I tried filming uh, the inside while cutting but that didn't really work uh, with my uh, rather big camera. Um, so that uh, brings us basically to the uh, current situation and on my uh, last cut the uh, tip here started rubbing against the inside of the register opening here. so I think uh, the uh, thread must be on size now but I will take another spin cut and then I will test a second time with this uh, tab It's getting a lot tighter near the rear of the thread. And at this point I'm using both hands to turn the uh, spindle. Backing out the tool. Returning the spindle. And I think I'll take another uh, spring cut just to be sure. Because it is feeling a little tight near the rear of the thread. I cleaned the uh, bore out and I hope I got all the swerve. So let's try and fit this thing. Well, that feels pretty good. Well, that was uh, fitting pretty good. Although the first part of this uh, tab, it is not cutting uh, to the full depth of the threads. Uh, so you could never use this tab to make a uh, thread in a blind hole like this. So that's definitely uh, the best thread so far on uh, this lathe. Let's take off the uh, chuck and uh, flip it around. See if it fits. 
it uh, should fit although I'm not completely sure about the register opening here it is a bit rough So far so good. Let's see if the register fits. No. Or it is a bit tight, but it does register. Okay. I will put the uh, chart back now and then I'll clean up the um, I register bore a bit with a piece of sandpaper and I'll take another facing cut uh, because after all the uh, workpiece did move a little uh, in the chuck it's a bit of swarf still left uh, in the groove But I think the uh, thread looks absolutely fine and it uh, was a nice fit on the spindle. But uh, it could have been just a little tighter. feels pretty good. I will uh, run a stone over it and then it should be done. So, that's this side of the project done. So this uh, took a little longer than your average uh, workout and it uh, did cost one uh, slightly used uh, threading insert but hey uh, at least there were no uh, gym membership fees involved I would like to put a uh, nice null on this part um, that will help me uh, take it off the spindle and it might look uh, aesthetically pleasing but so far uh, all my uh, knurling efforts have been uh, shite luckily for me the uh, front section of this uh, part will have to be turned down anyway so that gives me the chance for some uh, testing well that's not a nice uh, diamond pattern more like a few scratches but I'll try again this uh, material might be too hard for a uh, successful neural I think I found a reasonable setting and uh, I'm going to neural the rest of the part unfortunately I have to run the lathe pretty fast otherwise it uh, stalls or the belt slips this also heats up the part quickly and it uh, doesn't help that uh, there's also a slight taper in here so I'll probably have to uh, back off the tool a bit um, but I'm hoping I can produce a nice uh, consistent knurl oh and uh, I did uh, discover a way to uh, stop the lathe and uh, destroy a brush at the same time
I am stopping now and again uh, to let things cool down because I, I don't want to overheat the bearings there's quite a lot of heat uh, coming from the part and uh, the uh, headstock starts to heat up I think it's about 30 degrees Celsius that's pretty much finished yep done Well, it's pretty far from perfect, but it is also uh, acceptable. Especially for a guy who can uh, count his uh, knurling uh, operations on one hand, even uh, if he lost one finger. Yeah. You know, knurling is a, is a bit like buying fruit. You never uh, know what you're going to get. can't take it off but uh, I wasn't expecting this well that's not coming off so it looks like the uh, knurling tool was uh, rubbing against the workpiece and uh, that uh, probably didn't have a positive effect on the outcome of the uh, knurling quality it also uh, explains why uh, things got so damn hot I had to uh, stop turning at some point I'll uh, modify this thing with uh, an angle grinder I got it uh, removed from uh, the spindle using these uh, uh, I don't know what to call them pliers as you can see a lot of uh, material got uh, pushed over the edge by the knurling and uh, that might even be the reason why it uh, was so tightly on the spindle I should have uh, chamfered it before I started knurling but I guess I'm going to chamfer it now more needs to come off that should do it and just to be sure I will uh, run a stone over here I think uh, the knurling cleaned up uh, okay especially when you look at it from say a meter distance the last thing I need to do is uh, cut a uh, JT6 taper onto uh, this side of the workpiece. JT6 stands for um, Jacob's Taper number 6. Some uh, obscure standard of days gone by. I pulled this uh, document from the internet and here are the uh, dimensions for a JT6 taper and these numbers here have been uh, conveniently converted to a uh, metric the uh, big end of the uh, taper is 17.17 and the small end is 15.582 so if you deduct that from that you'll end up with um, um, 0 0.794 
and then you have to divide it by two because you only want to taper on one side and you'll end up with uh, 0 0.397 millimeter. So if you move the uh, top slide 25.4 millimeters uh, parallel with the bed the uh, deflection of a uh, dial indicator that uh, is set against the top slide should be uh, 0 0.397 millimeter. Here's the uh, setup I used to uh, set the uh, top slide to the correct angle. First I have this uh, extra compound uh, slide that will push the uh, cross slide and the top slide from the vintage slave uh, towards the headstock. One turn on this dial is uh, exactly one millimeter of travel towards the uh, headstock uh, and uh, 25 turns should deflect the dial indicator here 78 hundredths of a millimeter. So at the moment the uh, cross light isn't fixed to the bed and to uh, compensate for an imbalance I got this uh, block of uh, cast iron. I will now set this um, to zero and also set the cross slide to zero this one here. And now I will turn 25 times on this dial here. And as you can see, I'm pretty close to 0 0.78. So that should uh, get me pretty close to an, uh, number 6 Jacobs table. And the uh, final fit uh, will probably have to be done with some uh, emery cloth and uh, some blue paint. Alright, here we go. One uh, Jacobs taper number 6 coming up. It's not really cutting, it just pushes the material away. I will uh, flip the insert because I got a feeling that it's not really uh, sharp anymore. <clears throat> so the other side of the insert cuts pretty good and the finish isn't bad but I uh, really got to uh, push the tool hard uh, if not uh, it starts to uh, chatter. Uh, the chips uh, are uh, stringy and gold colored, which isn't uh, great. I have a hard time feeding it in uh, quickly enough. Let's try a uh, high speed uh, tool bit. On this one the chips kept getting stuck between uh, uh, the tool bit and the workpiece just below the uh, insert. And then things would rub together 
and I would have to uh, back out the cut. They call this a uh, roughing tool bit, at least that's uh, what it said on the uh, website. I'm not sure. I'm a bit worried that this uh, tip will burn up uh, quickly with uh, this hard material. So I will uh, slow down the lathe a bit. So that's about 400 RPM. That's a bit light. Let's take a bigger cut. Again with the stringy chips. Let's take a big cut. Oh. Well, I will uh, suffer through this alone because uh, you guys are in the way. This tool can take a pretty decent cut, although I might just have damaged the uh, tip. That looks pretty cool. Damn. I'm hoping I'm not taking too much off. Seventeen twelve. No, no, we're good. I think the tool might be getting dull. Not bad. Little A-bomb chips. The uh, carbide insert is back because the uh, high-speed tool bit couldn't get into the uh, corner there. Well, it is uh, starting to look like a taper. There's uh, still a bit more to go. I am making the tape a bit shorter than uh, one inch because the hole for uh, the spindle nose got uh, a bit longer than uh, it uh, was supposed to be. That carbide insert left a rather poor finish. So I'm back with another um, high speed steel uh, tool bit although I'm not sure if it is high speed steel. Um, got another one of these. It actually got a hole bored into it. It says 137 Kova EX HRC6 and maybe a 5 or an S. I think these might have been uh, braced on tools but uh, there's nothing left uh, of the uh, braced on carbide. Well I guess uh, we'll find out if this uh, will cut. Yeah. That's actually not too bad. Could be better, but I think I can work with this. I'm doing a uh, test fitting and it looks like the taper is way off. I had a uh, look inside uh, with a flashlight and uh, the uh, rear is uh, too big, the front is narrow. So now I'm going to uh, set up a dial indicator against the uh, top slide and uh, carefully change the angle a bit. Um, take a few cuts and see if I can uh, get it uh, to fit a little better.
Nice. I still don't understand how this uh, taper could be so far off. Maybe there was something wrong with my calculations. I should check them again. For this cut I didn't uh, use a uh, dial indicator. I just backed off the uh, cross light a hair and then loosened it up and pushed it against the uh, taper and then tightened it up again. I guess it's now down to uh, trial and error. After I uh, took a second cut there was a uh, still play in the uh, front of the taper. So uh, I took another hair like cut and now it feels like there's play on both sides of the table. And uh, well, sure enough, after a bit of finger painting, a high spot uh, was revealed inside the uh, drill shock taper. It's probably hard to see on camera. Um, yeah, well, perhaps I can uh, take out the uh, high spot, but uh, unfortunately and uh, unknowingly. I already took off too much uh, material of the taper, so uh, this thing is never going to fit. And I guess the uh, top slide angle setup was probably better than uh, this uh, chuck made it look like. So uh, my apologies to all viewers who actually reached the end of this video. It's uh, not really a uh, satisfying outcome, but I guess. Uh, this is what happens when you trust a uh, cheap flea market uh, drill chuck. But uh, I uh, like to believe I learned a thing or two and uh, that's always a good thing. And I can probably still uh, salvage the arbor if I uh, try and uh, fit a uh, B16 taper drill chuck. There is enough material left for a uh, B16 taper. Alright, I will now order a B16 taper drill chuck from Banggood and uh, when it finally arrives in uh, 3 to 8 weeks I'll try and finish the project and if successful I might even show it on camera. You guys should now consider following the uh, link in the description below the video and buy some goods from Banggood. That way I can earn some uh, commission and keep the uh, channel going. The Banggood uh, Affiliates program hasn't been a great success lately. Last month I only earned 3 euro 60. Back in uh, January I actually made 50 euro. But uh, that money is long gone now. Um, I don't want to switch on ads so this is why I have to resort to uh, begging. Although uh, this uh, shouldn't cost you one dime. Basically you're putting Banggood's money in my pocket. Anyway don't buy crap you don't need on my behalf and uh, for God's sake stay away from the colors.